Hey yo, how you doing people? Welcome back. I still is back at me. You you know the vibes. How you doing? I hope you're doing great. You see the gloves? Don't move me. <clears throat> see that? Now me. I have this slick design of a 2022 Toyota Corolla. Yes sir. I'm gonna show you. I finally put my hands on this. All right. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do the oil change and reset the uh, oil life. All right. So stay tuned. Before I jump into the action, now I'm saying I, I gotta say I'm gonna say it again. Subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and anything you have in your mind, put it in the comment box for me. All right. Don't be like that. Join the, uh, the, the the channel too. Get your membership. Get it now. Why wait? Know what I'm saying? Uh, watch the whole ad. Don't skip it. It's like five seconds. Come on, good. Do that. Hey, if you want to give thanks, right below this video, there's a heart. It says thanks. That's super thanks. You click on that. You buy a tip. Go straight to the channel. Know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to hold you up no more. Let's do this old change. And the old life reset. All right. Come with me. Yeah, man. Astuo. Astuo. Let's get it. Astuo, bro. <laughs> right below the steering wheel. It's the, this is how you open the hood. All right. But just once. Oh, by the way, this car has a 8,000. 180 miles, right? Brand new, still baby. Giddy. Look at the dashboard. Vroom. 2022, huh? Here's the latch. Okay, right in the middle. There you go. Vroom. Uh, no cap. You see it? Hola, dog. Yo, what happened with the cap? with the you see, you see what I'm seeing though you see what I'm seeing though all uh, right okay windshield fluid reservoir coolant reservoir alternator engine oil cap it tells you uh, what kind of oil it takes engine oil you know what I'm saying Zero W20, that's full synthetic, all right? I repeat, full synthetic oil. You see that? Let me see that. All right, all right, okay. Engine air filter. Fuse box, it tells it right there. Battery, and right here, it is the uh, brake fluid reservoir. Yeah, all right. Four cylinder. Okay, okay. I see. I see what's going on with here. The fan over there. Single fan. Uh, okay. No. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the bottom. Uh, 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 so we get at the bottom. We got. This is like 10 millimeter. Two here, two here. All right. We're gonna get that. I think it's 10, 10 millimeter. We're gonna try 10 millimeter. Pop. 
Yeah, 10 millimeter. Pa. Pa. Burum. Burum. What we got over here? Let me show you. Let me show you what we got over here, Chico. Let's see. Oil drain plug. And the filter right here. All right. Here's the AC compressor. Okay. Uh, see the axle right here. Brakes, same stuff. Two bolts, maybe 13, 14 millimeter. The 17, one here, one here. That hold the caliper bracket. All right. This one maybe is easier. The uh, the lower control arm way easier to remove. Okay. Pretty much. Let's look at the let's look at the back at the rear. Huh. You see this in Chevys, the old Chevys though. Chevys. It has a enhanced electronic parking brake, EPB. Right. Uh, I have videos of uh, how to uh, deactivate the EPB or put it in a uh, maintenance uh, mode. Okay, you just gotta like, there's a five Allen, one here, one on the other side. Okay, disconnect this first though, okay. Uh, and then you're gonna remove this cap, you're gonna remove it. And then there's gonna be like an Allen slot you're gonna put the island turn it all the way to the right all the way all the way all the way then you can push the uh, the piston back with the piston pusher okay that's easy pretty simple all right and then we put everything back okay and leave it just like that and then just pump the brakes okay connect the connector too all right that's what you do when you replace uh, the, the brakes on uh, on this one okay you see ABS Queen Queen links stabilizer bar link in the back uh, pretty much spare tire uh, what else we got here okay Pretty much it. Alright. Just do this little change, alright? Stop playing. Yo, nobody give you these angles, dog. Alright. Uh, just gonna lose that uh, oil filter. Okay. I don't know about you, but I feel excited to uh, work on this Cor Corolla. Corolla. I don't know, maybe because it's brand new. Card of the year. Not card of the year though, but it is it is a baby though. I'll tell you that much. Now for that oil drain plug, I think I'm gonna use uh, 14. Let's see. 14? Yeah, 14. Just a little extension because the camera is in the way. Gucci, okay, Gucci. Yo, shout outs to our Greenland, the whole planet, alright? Keep doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Never stop. Alright, let's get it. think about that oil now since I'm over here oops, not 
hard to do this one? Pause. There you go. But that oil, look at that oil. Look at that. Transmission fluid or something. Yeah, shout outs to uh, the subscribers, viewers, ladies and gentlemen, shout outs to everybody, uh, shout outs to the haters too, keep hating, you know what I'm saying? I take that too. here oops what I'm gonna do with the uh, I wanna let it drain uh, for a minute though okay um, we need to stop leaking most of it Wipe it now. This. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna grab the new filter. 61394. 61394. That's for this beauty 2022 Toyota Corolla. How it looks like new. Okay. Now this is dry. I'm gonna lube it with the same oil or WD-40. It's up to you. Now you see it's lube. There's a lot of people are like, yo, you didn't lube the gasket. I do. I do it all the time. If I don't film it, that doesn't mean I didn't do it. Alright, so don't be like that at all. No, I'm just not being like that, I'm just saying though. Now see the oil, it's gonna be like this for hours though. A lot of people are like, yo, you didn't drain the oil all the way. I'm like, I did. But if you wanna drain most of it, if you wanna rinse the engine from the inside, inside, outside, bit stupid, shut up. You gotta pour some diesel inside, you know what I'm saying? In the engine, right there where you pour the oil, Right there, put, put diesel, start the car, you know what I'm saying? For a minute, let it idle, shut it down, and drain the oil. And most of it's gonna come out, you know what I'm saying? That's how you uh, drain all the oil, you know what I'm saying? Don't play with me. I do this. Now I'm gonna tie that. That oil drain plant with the 14, 14. Slide it in like I just did now. Alright. Yeah, 
bolt back. top in that post and uh oh, the new oil it is all right now this engine this baby grab your funnel is gonna take zero w20 all right and that's what we're gonna put in here it's gonna take 4.4 quarts all right Well, shout outs to everybody. Know what I'm saying? Thank you for the uh, for the super tent. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Know what I'm saying that's what's up. Which is like almost like like four and a half though. Make sure you put it slow though, all right? You don't want it to overflow. Let's see that if I give you this angle. Put some light. thumbnail for this one. Now, uh, I'm gonna put the uh, engine oil cap back. I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna start the car. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna show you it takes 4.4 because I'm not playing with you. I'm not lying, all right? So, I'm gonna let it idle. I'm gonna start the car. I'm gonna let it idle for for a minute. All right. So the oil go through the through the system, I'm sorry, through the filter and all that. Watch your clock. Look at your watch. Should be good enough though. All right. I'm gonna shut it down. Okay. I'm gonna check the level. Okay. Let me give you some light. Let's see. Let me see. I give it a minute. I give it a minute so the oil drop to the uh, oil pan. You know what I'm saying. See what I do. It's supposed to be right here in this hole. See that? Let me kill the light. See it? Right here. I wanna do it again, huh? I wanna do it again. Supposed to be right here where this 
that is right there. All right, stop playing with me. I do this. 4.4 quarts, all right? In your face, in your grill. All right, let's do the uh, oil. Uh, another thumbnail. All right. All right. I'm gonna shut it down, okay? Cause it's running right now. That's on position. It's running right now, all right? You're gonna see all that. You see all that. All right? So you're gonna play with this, okay? You're gonna scroll to the left or right, okay? Until you go right there to the gear, all right? Then scroll down. You know with this scroll down up left right enter okay go back with that all right now here scroll down until you go vehicle settings now press your k button press and hold it you gotta press it and hold it now it's gonna take you in there all right now scroll down push your k okay scroll up schedule maintenance reset data Yes, press OK. Sketch your maintenance, reset completed or complete. All right. This is for the tires. All right. So uh, let me give you let me give you this one. OK. In this video, let's say you have the tire pressure sensor on. OK. What you gotta do is like, let's say you have a nail, fits it, put the right amount of air, which says right here, okay, by the door. It says right here, front, 35, rear, 33, okay. Once you put the right amount of air in the tires, you come here, right? Uh, let's go back, okay. Vehicle setting, okay. Go in there, press OK, hold it. Now here in TPWS, press OK. Uh, set pressure, press OK. Press and hold it. Set entire pressure, warning system. All right, that's how you, uh, Get the uh, the tire the tire pressure uh, the tire sensor uh, signal away. Okay, that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoy like I did. 2022 Toyota Corolla. All right, this is what it is, dog. Okay, you know where to find me. Subscribe, get your membership, like, share, and comment. Let me know. Let me know how you feel about this car. All right. Look at this dog. Alright. Alright. I'll leave it right here. Thank you for watching. I like you boy. That's two. Hey, super tense. Super tense. Do it. Do it now. Alright. Do that. Watch the ad. Don't skip it. See me in the next one. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I gotta do it right. I gotta do it right. See me in the next one. Yeah.